The Sisters of Providence recently began the first phase of a new use for the former Brightside property in West Springfield. The soon-to-be Hillside at Providence has been designed as a place where a variety of the most modern services will be available for senior citizens. Terry Hegarty recently sat down with Sister Kathleen Popko, president of the Sisters of Providence, to find out more. The Sisters of Providence, who are celebrating 140 years in the Diocese of Springfield this year, have begun the reuse of a facility that was widely known for caring for children. Last month, two new tenants moved into the administration building at the former Brightside for Families and Children facility in West Springfield. Mercy Cares, a home care program that provides services to clients in their own homes, and Mercy Hospice will now have their offices in the building. They are the first tenants of a development that is being called Hillside at Providence. The congregation wanted to use this wonderful 26.5 acre site again for another mission that could be useful to the community that in which we live. And since this entire hill with Providence Place, Mary's Meadow, um, and the related properties are dealing with the needs of the elderly, we thought that reuse of the Brightside, former Brightside property, uh, for programs related to the elderly would be very important. Constructed in 1954, the buildings housed Brightside for more than 50 years. Since 1881, Brightside was known for providing adoption services and caring for children in a group setting. But recent changes in the adoption field led to Brightside ceasing to offer adoption services. They also subsequently closed their residential treatment program in June of 2010, leaving the buildings dormant. Brightside for Families and Children still exists, operating out of Providence Behavioral Health Hospital in Holyoke. They offer treatment programs, counseling, and family support services in the homes of clients. There is a, a, a bright side and it's uh, alive and vital and it's serving uh, hundreds of families in our region. Um, I think there's always going to be a little bit of confusion about the site because people so identified that location with, with bright side but now its new name is the hillside at Providence and it's going to be changing from one generation of it used to be children now it's going to be serving the elders. In order to serve those elders, more than a year of preparations and renovations have been taking place. A third tenant, the PACE program, Program for All-Inclusive Care of the Elderly, will be moving into the building in the fall. Most remember the sprawling Brightside facility here in West Springfield as having served generations of children of all ages. But with renovations underway, these same grounds will now serve the elderly helping them to live happier, healthier lives. The Sisters of Providence also have plans to build a new, low-income elderly housing complex on the land within the next two years. Sister Kathleen says this is just another way that the Sisters are continuing their mission. The Sisters of Providence have either been on the cutting edge or trying to innovate in terms of keeping up with the changing needs of the communities that we serve. And I think this is just another example of it where the needs of the elderly with the baby boom population growing older and the numbers of elderly in our country and around the world exploding, services are, are needed. Chris McLaughlin, the Chief Operating Officer of the Mercy Continuing Care Network, says that both Mercy Cares and Mercy Hospice needed to move. Two reasons. One is basically they're outgrowing the space they were in. And the second, and probably more to the point, uh, reason is that it's more appropriate for them to be on the campus with this new PACE program because it really starts to form the basis of an outpatient continuum. Chris says that there's been a tremendous shift in health care from institutional to community-based care. With Providence Place and Mary's Meadow just up the hill and a senior housing complex in the works, he says that Hillside at Providence will be an ideal setting for an integrated model of care. Speaking to the history of the Sisters of Providence, Chris says that the needs of the community never go away. I think the thing that remains the same is, as was the case 140 years ago, you have people in need. That doesn't change. It hasn't changed throughout history, although I suppose the types of need and the, the population of people that are in need perhaps has changed. The Sisters of Providence overall mission is to reveal the providence of God through ministries of healing, particularly for the poor and vulnerable. 
Uh, so we've kind of summarized that into bringing hope and healing wherever we are. In a modern and efficient setting, that hope and healing should continue at Hillside at Providence for many years to come. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Terry Hegarty. Looks like a great reuse of space that has such a rich history of having hosted people in need. We look forward to reporting more about this facility as things progress.